Hey everybody, welcome back to their brand new video. Yesterday we went out to a card show at the Southern Park Mall, which is in Youngstown, Ohio, just over the Pennsylvania border. It was probably about 40 tables. I took about $200 with me, and man, did I ever get some great deals. I'll show you everything I picked up. We'll take you around table by table, and I'll show you some of the highlights. The first table that I came across, I saw a bunch of old junk wax there. They were 50 cents a pack, so I tried to find some decent packs there. I picked out a pack of 1989 Bowman and 1991 Tops. We'll see if we can hit either the Chipper Jones or the Ken Griffey Jr. there. The next table up had a 50% off on all their baseball cards, and there were some nice ones in there. There were some autographs. There was some nice rookies in there, and I grabbed eight cards from this table, and um, they were some pretty nice uh, rookie gold cup cards of maybe the best player in the game. Next table up, a whole bunch of vintage. You can see some great stuff here. I grabbed two cards from this table, made him an offer, and uh, you know, just knocking $5 off, and he accepted it. And I'll show you everything that I picked up at the end of the video, by the way, every single card. We've got the whole recap for you at the end. I'd just like to show you kind of what's represented all the tables and then here's an old familiar site it is the stay classy table from bryce at stay classy cards he had some of his mystery packs there he had a whole bunch of 10 cent boxes just loaded up there i didn't have time to really go through all those i was there for two hours but i probably could have spent another hour or two there if i'd gone through some more boxes and he's got a big card show coming up on March 25th. It has a new location, by the way. Now it's at Washington Crown Center. We'll talk a little bit more about that. So if you're planning on going to the South Point show, it's been moved. I'll give you all the details coming up. Heather was along for the ride, and she took a, just a couple little shots of me. Here I am looking through some cards at Scooter's Corner. And Scooter has a mystery pack right here that I'm going to be busting open for you. It's a brand new product. He's selling them at the card shows. They're $35 a piece. There's a slab plus a bunch of other stuff in there. And uh, he said, uh, you know, and I can share his information in case you guys want to try one for yourself from the Scooter's Corner mystery packs. Next up, we've got some nice cards in this showcase. This one caught my eye last time I saw this seller. It was an Aaron Judge Pop one, it's number to five. It is his rookie auto, rated rookie auto from Optic number to five. I asked what he wanted for it. He said he would take three grand for it if you're paying by PayPal, or he'll take $2,000 cash. If you want to grab this card, I didn't have $2,000 cash on me, so I said I'd share his contact information. There it is. If you're a big Judge fan and want that one for your PC, or, or maybe you want to buy it and use it as a chaser and a mystery pack, that would be quite a chaser. So great card right there. A whole bunch of vintage, by the way, at this card. So you see them all lined up there. I got some really nice deals at that last table I just showed you. I spent $28 there and got some nice Nolan Ryans and other Hall of Famers. And we'll just give you a little walk through here of this next aisle. I went through some of these boxes, a whole lot of basketball and football, but there was some baseball cards at this one. I ended up spending $16 at that table. And then we've got the, uh, the head honcho right there. That's Joe's table. He always has a bunch of unopened wax and sealed hobby boxes for you to pick up if you'd like to. And then this table here, we've got a whole bunch of vintage stuff as well. Those are a dollar a piece. All those baseball and football, tons of vintage in there. Also picked up a nice Hall of Fame rookie from the showcase, which I'll show off to you. And uh, he knocked like, uh, I don't know, like 33% off of my deal. Uh, so some really nice stuff coming up. Overall, I thought I did great for $200. I can't wait to show you all the stuff that I got. And then at the last table here, I ended up spending $45 at this table, picked up a Mookie Betts rookie and some other stuff. So now let's go ahead and show you everything that I picked up. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. All right, folks, we're back from the card shot in Ohio. Got a bunch of stuff here. I only went in with like $200. I wanted to stop and take some more money out at an ATM. And then I forgot to, and I was like, oh, geez. Uh, we'll see if $200 will last. Usually there's an ATM in the mall. So I, I got all this for $200. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, a lot of cards, big haul right here. We're going to go through all of it, and I'm just going to grab them stack by stack, bag by bag, and show you what I picked up and also tell you what I paid for it. So first, we have this stack here with an Adley Rushman 2020 Bowman Chrome Mojo. We've also got a Fred McGriff 87 Tops traded rookie card in there. Fernando Valenzuelans, Mike Shosha. That's their rookie card from 81 Tops. And also an Albert Pujols game used jersey card. I picked these out. I asked, what do you want for these? He said $16. And I said, all right, deal. So 16 bucks for those four cards right there. Next, we've got a Harmon Killebrew and Reggie Jackson 70 Tops card. We've got Hank Aaron along with Willie Stardzel and Joe Torre. It's a Triple Hall of Fame card and also Willie McCovey, Hank Aaron, and Lee May. So a couple nice cards right there. Reggie Jackson, Hank Aaron on these cards. 
These cards right here, I got them for seven bucks for all these. Basically got one free. Now they're all a little off condition. I would say maybe this one might be the best. Uh, I appeal to 70 tops with Hank Aaron. There is a little dent in the card though. So seven bucks for those. Not too bad. I did see some nice vintage stuff at the card show out in Ohio. By the way, I'll give you a list of the upcoming card shows. We'll talk a little bit about those. Let's see what we have in this next bag here. Okay, I remember buying these. We have a Frank Robinson and Willie Mays in pretty good shape. 1966 tops RBI leaders. 65 tops, but it's a 66 tops card. And also a really great condition Reggie Jackson with nice sharp corners on this one. Uh, 25 bucks for those. I offered 20 and that deal was accepted. So got some more nice vintage cards right there. We've got more of these bags. I did pick up a few mystery bags. This here, they had a table of $3 mystery packs. And Austin Riley Rookie was on one side and a Michael Brantley was on the other. So those two cards alone was worth it. I don't know if it's going to be all commons in here. We're going to find out right now. It may just be some throwaway cards in the middle. Let's see what we have. So Austin Riley Rookie card is noteworthy. We'll take that one and put that one aside. We've got some 2019 Top Series 1 cards in here. We'll see if any of them are notable. Maybe some rookie cards. Highly doubt it, though. It seems like the face cards were definitely worth it for the price. Nothing so far. There's a Michael Brantley game use jersey card. And this seems to just be a way to get rid of some of uh, your base. you got a bunch of base laying around. You put a couple of nice face cards on there that are at least worth the amount of the pack. And then you get to move all of your base cards. Nothing in there. I kind of expected that. That's just the way that goes, I guess. All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and check out what we have in our next bag. By the way, we have a big auction tonight. I hope you will join us for that. It's a double upload day, so... Uh, we'll have this in March Madness for you, and then we'll go live. I'm hoping to go live by 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. We've got a whole bunch of binders, a whole bunch of autos, a whole lot of recent uh, releases that we're auctioning off from Matt Seedman's collection. Also, the next uh, round of March Madness, I'll have the cards for March Madness. And uh, those videos, you haven't seen them yet, but I opened them. I'm going to actually open them soon and then go upstairs, auction them all off in that auction. So if you'd like to bid on some of those... You can join us for that. All right, here's our next stack. We've got a Steve Carlton, 78 Tom's card, Garrett Cole, Mookie Betts for 3 bucks. This stack here, I paid $45 for all these, by the way. It's coming back to me now. That's a Mookie Betts 2014 Futures Now. That is a you know his rookie year, so rookie insert right there. Derek Jeter, rookie card for $3. A little bit of white on the top. There's two little edge issues right there, but $3, that's a great deal. Usually, guys are selling that card for 20 you got a Shohei Otani, $10 card. I kind of regret buying this one now <laughs> because there's no rookie card logo on it. But I saw that Otani there, and I decided to lot these up. There's the rookie debut rookie card and Mookie Betts, first Bowman for 10 bucks, along with his rookie card from Topps Update, rookie debut. All of those were $45 in that stack. Not too bad. We've got a Clayton Kershaw relic. This is from the seller that had the Aaron Judge Pipe 1. Uh, really awesome autograph. Um, he wants, uh, if anyone's interested in that, you can give him a, you can contact him. He's selling it for three grand or he'll take two grand cash. Uh, three grand is based off of recent comps of similar cards and nice Kershaw rookie. That was uh, not rookie. That'd be cool if it was rookie. It's a relic. It was five bucks. Here's our next bag. What do we have in here? Okay. So there's another seller that had some stuff, and I looked through it. I didn't really see too much that I wanted, but he had these cheap packs for 50 cents a piece. So I picked out two of the packs that I thought were the best ones. 1991 Tops going after a Chipper Jones rookie card. So we'll try that right now. We've got a Tom Glavin in there, who's a Hall of Famer. Not, a, not really worth much more than the quarter, though. Barry Bonds, all-star card, and Dan Pasqua. And then an 89 Bowman pack going after the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. I used to love opening 89 Bowman back in the day. It was a pretty, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent pack. I, I, I hated the size of the cards, but I really liked these cards when I was uh, just getting into collecting. There's Chris Sabo without the glasses, Gil Hodges reprint, Paul O'Neill, Mike Henneman, Bobby Thigpen, got Tim Leary and Dion James. Unfortunately, no Griffey in there, but it was worth a try. Next up, we've got a mystery pack here. This is a. Brand new mystery pack from Scooter's Corner. He had a little box of these, and he is trying these out. So um, he was selling these at the card show. He had maybe like 10 of them in this box. He said, go ahead and pick one. And uh, I said, definitely, I'll open it up and, you know, give you a shout-out and everything. If you like what you see with this, these are, I think he said $35 
for one of these if you really uh, would like to grab one of these for yourself. And this was chosen totally at random. He didn't just say, hey, I've got this one for you. Nope, he had a whole bunch. said pick one, and I picked one from the middle. Uh, if you want to grab one of these, it's gscooter0412 at gmail.com. If you email him, he can uh, set you up with this, or you can contact him on Instagram at bupbup0412. And inside, there's going to be a Tiger Woods rookie card. There's going to be one graded card, two autographs, a manufactured patch. There's numbered rookie cards, and there's also extras. So Scooter is always set up at these local uh, card shows. You've probably seen his table before in some of the other card show videos that I've done. So this is his, uh, you know, he's always got a whole bunch of inventory, and this is his way to kind of move some of that stuff, and he said he wants to give you good stuff. So for $35 already, I'm seeing a Frank Thomas rookie card from 90 score there, which is pretty nice. So let's see here. These might not last long. He says if these go well, he could, uh, he could really... Maybe get into it and make another series. We got a couple of rookies here from 2023. Um, Davis Martin, Jonathan Ronda. There's a Thurman Munson. 79 tops in great shape. We've got that's the Tiger Woods card. I, I don't know much about golf cards. I assume that's the Tiger Woods rookie. Spencer Torkelson rookie card. Jazz Chisholm. We also have Yu Chang gold card. Jacob DeGrom. We've got a Nolan Ryan mojo. And there's Frank Thomas's rookie card. So that's a good start. We're not done yet. We have some more. We've got a J-Rod Chrome rookie card from Stars of MLB and also Reed Detmer's autograph. First Bowman Auto of Reed Detmer's right there. Very, very cool card. Reed Detmer's looks like an in-person or through-the-mail auto. And there's we're not done yet. Jordan Alvarez rookie card in the slab coming up. Let's see what else we have. So we know Jordy is on the way. There's Shane Boz rookie, Stephen Kwan rookie. Here's our patch. It's going to be Mike Trout. That's a good one. From a jumbo box and a Jordan Alvarez rookie from Topps Chrome in a PSA 8. So, again, if you want to check those out or maybe grab one of those, try one for yourself, you can also let us know in the comments what you think of it. If you thought it was worth the 35 bucks, yeah, you can contact him right there, gscooter0412, and uh, say, hey, I saw uh, your pack on Jazz Show. I want to try one of those. And uh, he'll get you set up. So, Scooter, thank you very much for allowing us to showcase that. And now let's move on to the next stack. What else do we have here? We've got a stack of Otanis here. These gold cup cards are pretty awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They were $6 a piece, and he was running a sale. Uh, so it was 50% off. So I think it came out, uh, what do I get here? Seven, uh, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, it was 24 bucks. So I said, I got $24 worth of cards here. Would you do 20? He said, yeah. So really great price on all those Otani gold cups. So those are, you know, people really love those. So that was a nice one. There is a vintage seller there as well. And I bought these off of him, Nolan Ryan. And I think he only knocked $1 off. So he didn't save that much money. I think these may have totaled 29 and uh, I got him for 28. We got a Nolan Ryan 77 tops. Corners are pretty good on this one. He did have some nice Nolan Ryans there. Clean back on that. 1980 tops Nolan Ryan. It appeared to be crease free. Now the lighting in the mall is always not that great. So sometimes I'll get back from the mall and I'll think that I have a decent card and I'll see I'll spot a hairline crease. But so far I'm not seeing anything uh, in terms of creasing. We have a nice Nolan Ryan 79 tops right there, and I do now see a crease right there. Small crease right there, but a 79 tops Ryan. Still a nice card. This one was only a dollar. Lou Brock, 78 tops. Record breaker card. Nice sharp corners. One buck. Great deal right there. Fred Lynn, that is a Fred Lynn rookie card for just $3 from 75, and also a Ryan Sandberg Hall of Famer rookie card right there for just five bucks. So lots of great deals at the Ohio show. We're not done yet. We got another bag and another big bag over here. So still plenty to look through, folks. Next up, what do we got here? Oh, okay. I picked uh, this Jim Rice up for five dollars, and uh, all of these were a dollar piece. And I said, "How much for all these?" I handed the guy. I was expecting him to say maybe twenty or something like that, because there's eleven plus five. Actually, no, maybe fifteen. I think the total here was $16. He, he said 10 bucks for all of them. So basically, I got the Jim Rice for free here and also the Tony Oliva. So a Jim Rice rookie card from 75 tops. It does appear to be just a bit faded from maybe being out in the sun at maybe a flea market or something like that. But a Hall of Fame rookie card with decent corners and also crease free. Why would I pass on that for $5? Great deal right there. And then I picked up a lot of these are all Hall of Fame vintage for a dollar a piece. And all in decent shape. Tony Oliva, Gaylord Perry, 72. Uh, Phil Necro, 79 tops with sharp corners. Rod Carew, 74 tops. 
There's a Tony Perez 79 tops, also a William McCovey 79 tops. A Joe Morgan 1979 tops all star card, a 72 Tony LaRusa. Here's one with Joe Torrey on it, 72 tops. Jim Cott, now in the Hall of Fame, a 76 tops, and Rod Crew 1980 tops. So, all that for basically, if I paid five for the, the uh, Jim Rice, five bucks for 11 cards uh, of Hall of Famers, an absolute steal. So, overall, really, really great things to be had at the card show. By the way, if you want to go to the next card show, here's here's the whole calendar. The next card show, you got to wait about a month, maybe five weeks. Westmoreland Mall is the next one, April 21st, 22nd, 23rd. So maybe mark your calendar right now. We'll be back out in Ohio back in early May. That's the same mall that I was just at for this card show, May 5th, 6th, and 7th. So here's the whole lineup if you want to attend the upcoming card shows put on by Joe's Sports Cards at all the malls. And we've got one more thing coming up. It's the... Stay Classy Packs. Yes, Bryce was out there from Stay Classy. Now, you haven't seen any Stay Classy on the channel recently because, uh, you know, Bryce has been super busy with a project of his own. He's putting together the biggest card show in Western PA, maybe that we've had in, you know, some time. And he's had, uh, you know, some snafus. So he donated all of these to our channel. What I'm going to do is, I uh, said, do whatever you want. Open them up, give them away, auction them off. It's up to you. I think I'm going to auction them off and then use the proceeds to give away a Nolan Ryan rookie card um, in our Team Break Tuesday. So Stay Classy always loads up their packs. We've got football packs right here. I don't know much about football, so we'll put those in the auction tonight. I'll open them up for whoever buys them, and you can see what's in there. And then we have the baseball packs. These are $10 packs. They have two relics and, uh, or sorry, one relic and two autographs per pack on average, and they are usually pretty darn good. So we'll auction those off tonight as well, and then we'll put the proceeds towards that Nolan Ryan rookie card that we're giving away, and uh, we'll shout out Bryce as one of the sponsors for that. And before we leave, one more thing about Stay Classy Cards. You've probably heard me talk about the big card show that's coming up at South Point, which is where the Penguins train. And uh, Unfortunately, that card show has been, I don't want to say postponed or canceled, but it's been modified. So what happened was the arena said, hey, Bryce, you know your card show that you worked so hard setting up? Uh, you can't you can't have it here anymore. We are going to start renovations a month earlier, so we have to cancel your card show. So Bryce has had to uh, kind of scramble. So he, you know he had all these athletes coming in to sign autographs, all these dealers set up, and he has found a new location that is only seven miles south of the original location. So if you're planning on coming out, you're not going to have to really drive all that much farther. In fact, the place that it's at now, it's the town I went to college at. It's very convenient. It's right off of 70. So if you're coming from 79 or 70, it's it's very very convenient. You have a much easier time getting there, I think. And also, it's right by the Washington Wild Thing Stadium. If you know where that is, it's the independent ball team. But it's at the uh, now it's going to be at the Washington Crown Center, which is a nice big mall in Washington, PA. The address is 1500 West Chestnut Street, Washington, PA 15301. Still, same date, March 25th, same time, 9 to 4 p.m. One of the big changes now is it's free admission. Before, you're, you would have to buy a $5 admission ticket. I still have, have a couple of these left. Well, if you have one, these, if you purchase these, you can get a refund for those at the card show. There will be an office set up in the middle. But one nice thing now is with the Washington Crown Center, there's a lot more room. So he's adding dealers. Now it's up to 160 tables. He said he might be able to push that to 170 or 180. So basically, it's going to be just a ton of dealers. So it's going to be the usual guys that you see set up these mall shows, plus like who knows how many, like 120 extra tables, which will be pretty awesome. There's free parking. If you want to do something else, you've got casinos and racetracks nearby, and uh, they have autographs there. Door prize will be going off. There's goodie bags. If you have any kids, they got goodie bags going on. You can check it out at pittsburghcardshow.com if you'd like to check that out. 160 tables, so if you mark this off before on your calendar and you were going to South Point, I just want to you know let you all know that it is moved. And I'll be there too, so maybe I'll run into some of you um, because I'll be walking around buying cards. You saw a whole bunch of stuff that I picked up today, and I'll be hoping to pick up even more on March 25th. And hey, that's just uh, that's just two weeks away now, so it's going to be here soon. Don't forget about it. I'll maybe remind you once more if you'd like to check that one out. So that's everything I picked up from the card show, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, make sure that you tap that notification bell. Don't forget, we'll be live tonight with a huge auction. So many great cards to auction off from Matt's. 
uh, collection and a whole bunch of binders as well. As always, we will save all of the binders for members only. So if you'd like to join as a channel member and have a chance at all of those binders, you could do that. Otherwise, we still have a bunch of great cards for everybody else that's a non-channel member. Uh, we'll uh, who knows how long we'll be live for tonight. It's going to be a long auction, and I hope that you can all join us. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll have March Madness for you in a little bit, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.